Hey there, and welcome to another Jeff Reviews for You review video. We're going to be looking at two different as seen on TV items that claim to be your alternative to hot pads in the kitchen. We're going to be looking at the hot hands and the of glove. That's something exciting for us to look at today. We're going to put them both to the test. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And if you're new here, my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, other household goods, and once in a while I throw in a little DIY just for the fun of it. If you like those ideas, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's unbox these gloves and see what we're getting into and you know what, let's make some dinner. Alright, so let's start unboxing these and see what I got. Now, um, I purchased both of these on Amazon, and if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, the Ub Glove I have seen recently at Walmart, um, about the $15 range. I actually purchased this for $14 um, on Amazon. So if we open the box, um, it reveals one Ub Glove. Now, the Ub Glove is actually made up of Kevlar and Nomex, so it's pretty durable, and it's supposed to have high heat resistance. They even say, I think, up to 540 degrees. Um, now, we're not going to test it that high because the comparison with the hot hands, hot hands doesn't go that high. So I want to keep them in the same range just to make it a fair comparison. Um, but they do say if you get the of glove dirty, it is washing machine safe. So I got one of glove for 14 bucks. Now, let's open up the hot hands. Also purchased on Amazon around $10. This is an older as seen on TV item. So you're probably not going to find this one in the store. Um, the hot hands are made of silicone. It's dishwasher safe, so they're washable. Um, they have a heat resistant up to, um, I think it says 425 degrees, and it's also one size fits all. They both are. Now, the Ub Glove looks a little bigger than the hot hands, but we'll see if they fit my hand. I have the Ub Glove and I have the hot hands out of their packaging. Um, like I said, the Ub Glove looks a little bigger, um, but we'll see how they fit. So let's try on, well, we'll try the Ub Glove first. Okay, so I'm putting it on. Um, you know what, as it's getting my fingers down to this end, I do feel it's a little tighter around my fingers. Um, let's see, I can move my fingers pretty well. The comfort is pretty good. Um, I don't feel constricted and I can move things around. It does feel warm. Um, so let's try now the hot hands. This is definitely a different feel because of the silicone. All right, so there we go. I've got hot hands. I've got the of glove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook some chicken nuggets. I'm going to cook some french fries. I'm going to mix them up in the middle just to see if I can spin them around no problem and flip them or so. And then I'm going to take them out. I'm actually going to hold the pan to see which side gives up first in this of glove, hot hands, head-to-head -head comparison. Let's head over to the stove. All right, so both the french fries and the chicken nuggets or tenders say 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Right now the oven's at 400 degrees, so let's put these in. Now, I don't really need these right now just because it's not hot, but I still have them on just for fun. All right, nuggets go in. French fries go in. So now I'm gonna come back in about 10 minutes and see what it's like if I actually have to mix these up and try these gloves out. So this has been cooking now for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm going to open this up and see how it works. All right, I'm going to grab the grate, both sides. I don't feel the heat on either. I, mean, I can feel the heat coming out, but not on either glove. Let's turn some of these, this food around. Flip it around. Move the french fries. I feel I can move my hand a lot more with the up gloves than I can with the um, hot hands. Can I spill one? Oh no, got caught in the glove. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna push these back in for another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna see how long I can hold the pans and which one lasts longer. It's been 20 minutes since I've been cooking these, and now I'm gonna take them out of the oven. I'm gonna use my temperature gun just to show you the temperature of these pans. All right, so if you can look here, it's 391 degrees these pans are. So let's take them out and let's see how long we can hold on to them. So 
I'm going to grab this pan here. I'm going to hold it with the up glove and the hot hands, and we're going to see. So it's 400 degree pan, just about. Right now I'm okay. I'm starting to feel a little warmth on the hot hand side. That's the red side. It's been a little warmer. The up glove is still holding up pretty strong. I can feel warmth, but it's not like uncomfortable. The up, the up glove is good right now. The hot hands is getting really, really hot. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually put this down because the hot hands is getting really, really hot. Um, as I noticed when I put this down, um, this is remaining hot. This one is kind of cooling down. I'm actually gonna take off the hot hands um, just so I don't hurt myself. Now, the Ove glove and the hot hands, they both started getting really warm. So don't think that you're gonna be able to transport and hold something for a period of time. This is just transporting from the stove, from the grill, from wherever to a surface. You won't be able to hold them for very long because in about 15, 20 seconds, they got really too hot to handle. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the Ove glove and put it in the washer, and I'm gonna take the hot hands and put it in the dishwasher, and we'll see what they look like when they're done. Let's finish the comparison between hot hands and the up glove. Today, I really put them to the test cooking inside the house and in the oven. So I set my oven at 400 degrees. I let it cook for 10 minutes. I opened it up, the oven. I mixed things up. My hands felt fine. I didn't feel the heat. I felt the heat on my face, but my hands were good. 10 minutes later, when it was done, I pulled them both out of the oven. They both were very comfortable. Put them on the stove. When I held them in my hands, um, for that little period of time, I noticed that the hot hands got hot really, really a lot quicker than the Ove glove. Um, I actually had to put it down, and the hot hands held its temperature for a lot longer, so I had to take it off because um, it was really starting to hold the heat in. Um, I Since then, I've put them, this one I put in the washing machine, this one I put in the dishwasher. They came out looking just like they did when I put them in, so I wasn't really surprised. Um, this wasn't really dirty. So it was okay. Now, I will say I was kind of frustrated with the length of the fingers of the hot hands because my fingers are a little longer and so it looks like I had little short squatty fingers and it was hard to grip things. Whereas the up glove on the other hand, the fingers just, it just seemed to fit me better. As I look at these though, I have two different uses for these. The Ove glove I would use for grilling. If I'm out there flipping hot dogs or sausage or hamburgers, I would use this because then the heat from the grill would not transfer to my hand. This is more of an everyday use because I grill frequently. Now, the hot hands on the other side, I love smoking meat. Man, I'll make some mean pulled pork. And I can see using these gloves to rip apart and tear apart the pork because they're silicone, easy to wash. I think these ones will get greasy over time. Um, plus, if you notice the hot hands, you can actually boil corn, boil water, and stick your hand in there and just pull them right out. That's something I would not do with the Ove glove just because the material, although it does have this rubbery feel, there is some cloth in there too, and that might just retain the water, and I wouldn't say that's something you'd want to do. Now, Ove glove, one glove, around $14 on Amazon, whereas the hot hands, I got two gloves for around 10 bucks. So up to you. I'm keeping both of them, so, so technically I spent $25 on, or $24 on three gloves, but I have different uses that I'm going to do. If you have either one, I think you'll be happy with the grilling. Absolutely. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Since you're still here, why don't you go check out my windmill watermelon slicer. It's a review I did not so long ago about another as seen on, well, maybe as seen on Facebook product that makes slicing watermelon into small cubes quick and easy. I'm going to link it right up here, over there, and I'll see you over at that review. See you there.